This past September, my family and I participated in our fourth 3D printed derby at the East Coast Rip Rap Festival. When I look back at the last three cars, I see a common theme with my youngest son's entries. They're all inspired by Minecraft. Now, even though these cars were all inspired by the same thing, they were made a reality with three different techniques. 2019's car was painted, 2022's car was done with filament switches, and 2023's car was done with stickers. Hey enthusiasts, my name is Vicky Soma, this is Teagall 3D, and today's episode, we're gonna talk about making Minecraft Derby cars. Now, as some background, and maybe a little bit of archiving or memory collecting for future Vicky. Uh, our family is really into Minecraft. That's one of the things that's in our common rotation to do together as a family. And sometimes it's not just our immediate family. Uh, sometimes we set up servers and we have cousins join us online as well. Now, out of all of the players in our family, and I'm, I'm counting even like the younger cousins that are just starting school, uh, I think that I am the weakest player I definitely feel like it takes me a little bit longer to learn and pick up skills than the kids. I'm pretty comfortable with building and surviving. I am not so good at parkour. I panic in a PvP, player versus player situations. I'm very ginger and slow at bridging. So you probably don't want me on your Bed Wars team. Uh, but I can hold my own on some things. You know, I'm good at gathering supplies for the other players. And I can help make Minecraft Derby cars a reality. 2019. With our 2019 Derby car, I told my youngest son to go ahead and design it in Minecraft. And I was thinking I was kind of outsourcing the modeling to him. Uh, what I was envisioning was that he was going to be doing it in the Java edition. And maybe I could do something fancy schmancy with the world files and, you know, export and voila, we already have our Derby car. I guess we had a communication mishap because my youngest son designed it in the Xbox so I couldn't grab the world files. And this is what he designed. That whole whole thing, that big tower. What I ended up doing was um, remodeling his vision in Blender and I made quite a few um, adjustments to the design. That whole tower thing, gone. Uh, I kept the quartz elements that he had there. I kept the flames. I kept the nether portal, though I did choose to angle it a bit. There's no way we're ever gonna be contenders for speed, uh, but at least that looks like we're not actively trying to maximize our air resistance. Modeling stuff in Minecraft is super easy. It's all cube based. So uh, for this derby car, one of the elements that I would do, I would start a cube. I'd use a loop cut and slide to make it a little 16 by 16 squares. And then I would just start extruding some of those squares uh, to give it a little bit of texture. This derby car we printed in one color and then we painted it. If you watch some of my old, old videos, you'll know that painting is not quite my forte, uh, but I did have fun with this one. Uh, the raised little layers on the blocks made it a little bit easier for me. I think the funnest part was in the nether portal, I was using a toothpick to make little swirls in the wet paint, and that was kind of fun. Uh, but most importantly, when we got to the event and we were bringing the car in, other children were recognizing it as a Minecraft-inspired uh, car. So, whew, 2022. Uh, for 2022, our car inspiration was not just Minecraft, but a specific Minecrafter. Uh, there is a YouTuber named Dream, and he served as the jumping off point of our derby car. So in Minecraft, uh, you are able to customize your skins and you know, change up what your character is looking like. And so we chose the skin that the popular Minecrafter YouTuber Dream uses. Six days before the derby race, uh, Dream made big news by doing a face reveal. Uh, that's not why we chose him for our Minecraft Derby car. Uh, first off, I thought his skin uh, looked pretty easy and pretty doable, uh, something that we could do fast. 
Uh, secondly, it doesn't hurt that me and my youngest son, uh, we have the favorite color of green, which you might be able to tell from my room. So dream skin is predominantly green, which is a bonus. And then uh, thirdly, uh, that was around the time that my family and I were trying to learn a Minecraft skill called clutches. And what this is, is if you are falling from a cliff or a high place, uh, normally when you hit the ground, your character is going to die. Some very creative Minecrafters, uh, including Dream, have discovered that there's a variety of different objects that you can use as you're falling at the very last minute to uh, circumvent that death. An example is the bucket clutch. So if you have a bucket of water and you're falling off that cliff, at the very last minute before you impact the ground, if you empty out that bucket of water, uh, you are landing in water. So it's like you jumped into a lake and not the ground and you survive. Because we learned clutches from Dream, that's why we chose them for our derby car. This was also modeled in Blender, and this was another super duper easy one. I started a plane, and I divided that plane into like 16 squares by 32 squares. From there, it's almost like a plastic canvas project where I'm cutting out the shape that I want. With this model, I found using Blender's material properties to be helpful with the design process. I started going and uh, shading all of the faces the way that I wanted them to uh, match the skin and then later that served as a guideline to how tall to make those sections because I was doing layer swaps I needed all of the green at a certain height all of the white at a different height and all of the black at a final height I printed that with the tried and true technique of swapping filament uh, colors at different layers. So, you know, I did all the lime green and then I did the, uh, some layers of white and then some layers of black and there we have it. A dream skin. 2023. I think this one's going to be my personal favorite. Uh, this was another original design by my youngest son. Another thing that I like about this design is he started off with a paper-based sketch and this is meaningful to me because pretty much all my designs start with sketches as well. This design was done in Tinkercad and it was super easy. It was mostly rectangles. I think two Tinkercad features that were helpful here was the ability to double click on uh, type in specific measurements and then also the align tool came in pretty handy as well. One thing that made me nervous about this original sketch was my son was calling for very specific blocks. He wanted a block to represent three dimensions of Minecraft. I knew enough about Minecraft to know that those blocks were gonna be tricky. I didn't think I could pull them off with layer uh, switches. Um, I also knew that we had a lot on our plate and I didn't think we would have time to do some painting. So we made this Minecraft car a reality with a completely different technique. Stickers! I bought some 8.5 by 11 sticker sheets from Staples and then using uh, Minecraft wikis I was able to download the little textures for the blocks and using the free image software GIMP I got them to the right size and I printed out a sheet of stickers on a pretty cheap inkjet color printer and cut those out and stuck them to the 3D print and made my son's vision a reality. One thing you may be able to ascertain looking at our designs is we're not usually contenders for the win. Um, but I do want to give out a shout out to a car that had an amazing Minecraft design and was also fast. In 2022, a family of four entered this derby car. It is beautiful. And not only is it beautiful, it was fast enough to win the creatively fast division of the 3D printed derby. One thing I want to point out here is I've already talked about three strategies that we use to make our cars look like Minecraft. Uh, this car uses a completely different strategy. Every single one of those uh, colors 
is a different part that was printed separately and then glued in. Most impressively, even like the very fine details like the eye. Well, hopefully this video gives you some ideas on how maybe you can make a Minecraft Derby car or maybe use some of these techniques to make a different kind of Derby car come to life. As you may have heard, the 3D printed Derby is not going to be at the East Coast Rip Rap Festival next year because it's going to be at 3D Printopia. And what kind of Minecraft cars might we see at 3D Printopia? I don't know, but I'm looking forward to finding out. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.